What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. I have more than a few thoughts, but I'm going to try to keep it as concise as possible. So I'm definitely not tuning into the newest season of Love and Marriage Huntsville, but I saw a few clips from the most recent episode that aired this past weekend. The ladies are on a girl's trip. We know how these trips are on these shows. You are going on trips with people that you normally probably would not go on a trip with. You're going out to dinners and lunches and all these different things with people that you probably would not be conversing with and having like a car, you know, a a real relationship with in real life because you don't see it for each other but for the sake of the show for the sake of the drama they do this type of stuff but I wanted to share how I feel about some things that were said because they were having a conversation before Destiny showed up on a trip that she was invited by Tisha as a plus one And I have some thoughts on this plus one situation and how this plus one showed up, which they showed a clip from the upcoming episode that hasn't aired yet and something that Destiny said that I just wasn't really feeling. So let me go ahead and get into it. I can find me and my friend about how you treat me when it don't go your way. That's that the is, key right that's there. Good. That's when it's good. not right or I'm down or I'm broken or I'm or hurt mis- or I'm mad. Yes, I know yeah. if friends or not. I you think know? that's one of the best examples I've ever heard, yeah. to be perfectly honest. Pure friendship is being able to agree, disagree, mm-hmm. to go through some things. Yeah, yeah, that's when I feel like you're my friend. Sometimes so, you can just walk away. I don't have to down you or talk bad about you because the relationship is fire. Yeah. Can you be around somebody that she don't like? Yeah, absolutely. I'm an adult. Mm. Yeah. She don't like me. If we have an issue, <laughs> you can't. You can't sit right next to her, right? Watch her. So, uh, Melody's, she brought her friend on the trip. One of her, I guess, her only real friends on the trip, Dr. Shanita Foster. I don't have an issue with it. Because, as far as I'm concerned, and this is just how I see it, this is my opinion. I'm not saying that Melody is right about everything. I'm not saying she is, you know, always in, a, you know, a space in a situation where she is 100% right. I'm not saying that at all. But I do believe just based on the things that I've seen over the years on the show, which is one of the reasons why I feel like the show just needs to come to an end, is that she has had so many people against her, even the ones that she thought was like a friend, like Kimmy, and even her ex-husband, father of her four children. She was married to this man all of these years, went to freaking college with him, carried him on her back, and all he was doing was being against her and propping other people up to be against her as well. So when you have been in a situation where you have been pretty much being ganged up on, let's just be honest, then I don't think there's anything wrong with having somebody along that is going to be standing up for you, that is going to speak up for you. I'm not saying that she needs a mouthpiece, and I feel like some people felt like that, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. I don't feel that way, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that when for so long she has had to be her own mouthpiece in a lot of these situations and scenarios that are propped up on this show. So Dr. Shanita Foster is asking um, Tisha about friends and, you know, if you could be a friend with someone and, and sit down and eat with them and whatever. And Stormy's like, yeah, she can. She's sitting right next to me and she don't like me. You know, trying to make light of it or, you know, be funny about the situation. But... I don't, you know, their blow up, I don't even believe that was even like a genuine blow up. I just believe that was something for the moment. But I digress. 
Shanita told Melody, watch her talking about Tisha. <laughs> Watch her. What you mean, watch me? Because you said, not in a negative way. I said, watch you. Because you said you just sit at the table and eat with somebody you really don't don't like. In other words, just because they sit at the table until she sit at the table with you, don't don't think that that means she like you. No, that's (laughs) a thank you. Thank you. I mean, that's the real thing. You could ever do that. I didn't know that Mel was going to bring her bodyguard on this trip. Like, this girl does not know any of the ladies, but you're very opinionated for you not to know us. So Tisha's insinuating Melody's been giving her the spill on a ladies. And uh, of course she has. Like, are, are you kidding me right now? Like, you you really thought that she didn't talk to her friend, her, like, her real friend about these ladies and how she has been feeling about them, things that they have experienced, what they've been going through. Like, she was at her, her name change ceremony and Kimmy and Tisha... And Stormy, like, those ladies were not invited. Obviously, she knows that they're not her real friends. So, but also, this is drama for the show. Because that's par for the course when it comes to these reality shows. So, you know, Shanita, okay, cool. You're looking out for your friend to say, watch her. But that's what happens on these reality shows. You sit down with, you go on trips with people that you don't, really like you're not even really genuine friends but I don't have an issue with her selling Melody in that moment watch her because one it's it's good tv let's just be let's just be real and two if she is her friend then yeah I'm looking out for you and I don't mind saying it in front of her versus smiling in her face while they're sitting at the table eating and then when they all leave and they're all like huddled up or just, you know, breaking off into the little mini groups. Then she tells her, yeah, I don't know about that Tisha chick. You need to watch her, but I'm sure you already know that. It's going to be some heated, heated, heated moments. I can talk to somebody I don't like. It doesn't mean, I mean, it's like you're an adult. We're mature enough to like hold a conversation with someone and keep it moving. If we're going to talk about sitting at a table with people that we don't like, we might as well involve Trish and Sonny in this conversation because although they're new to the group, it's very clear that there are some conversations that need to be had. Now, I want to pause it for a moment because one of the things that I see some people say is that, oh, yeah, Melody, she's messy. She she tries to play the innocent role, but she's messy. People have to remember and understand one thing. Melody is an executive producer still on the show. Whether she still wants to be a part of it or not, she's fulfilling her contractual obligations at this point. I don't know how much longer this is going to last for her. I don't know how much longer this show is going to last. But she is a genuine executive producer of the show versus, let's use, for example, Real Housewives of Potomac and Giselle Bryant, who, for whatever reason, the people behind the scenes, some of the producers, they have pretty much kind of put her in the role of being the person that produces the scenes because all she does is stir up mess and drama versus really showcasing what's going on in her real life, except for the few moments when she shares her children, which makes her sort of likable. But even with that, it doesn't make her likable But because people like her daughters, but most people don't really care for her because of how she is. But Giselle isn't a real producer of the show. She's a cast member. So that's one of the differences when it comes to Melody. She's doing the things that she's doing when she's bringing up these conversations when she's speaking about certain people. She invited Sunny on the trip. That's her right to do so. This is her in her executive producer role. So she is also a cast member of the show, but she's also an executive producer. So it's kind of her fulfillment of making it somewhat watchable or giving people the opportunity to have conversations about the show because she is still an executive producer. So I do feel that some people forget that that is a part of her role. So when people say, oh, she's messy, she's she's bringing this person on the trip, she's talking about this, she's sharing this, that's her executive producer role. So yeah, people could say she's being messy or whatever. And listen, I don't even have a real problem with that either because like I said, I do feel that for years she was going through so much 
in her marriage and these people were really not on her side. And we still see that to this day with her ex-husband, with Marceau, with Letitia's mom. Like the, the things that has, have been said about her is just really disgusting. So I, I, don't, I can't say that I blame her, but I don't see anything wrong with what she's been doing as being an executive producer on the show. Chris, you got a problem with signing because of Destiny? No, I don't. I ain't got a problem with it. We, I just ain't gonna be cordial with her like that. Yeah, because I'm saying, but you don't know her, but I'm saying, so like, for example. That was like a ball drop. Here's the, this is the situation. Sunny used to work on the show. You, Sunny. And Sunny um, was a producer. One of the people she was a producer was Destiny. Destiny had a boyfriend. Um, she's not married to that boyfriend. But y'all should be mad at the boyfriend. What y'all mad at well, Sunny? Well, I said that. 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 I said so we build this this that's relationship. Work. No, no, no. We it's build this work. relationship where we go outside to parties together. Work. That's a work outside relationship. Work. No, because everybody has seen them outside. It's a work no, relationship. No. If you quit this but job no. tomorrow, me and you wouldn't be friends. People, they, were, they were with each other outside but that was work. It wasn't even like that. It was a one situation while it was working. One. Their job is to get information about you, your dog, your cat, your bird, your kids. Whoever they but they can. should use that information against her. Why not use that information use against, her. against her? She never even talked about him. She never told me nothing about their relationship. I didn't even know they knew each other for 15 years since she said on the podcast. So how did she Wait, go on the party? Destiny, get you coming. She's what she's supposed to be doing. I don't like talking about someone that they're not friends No disrespect, but if it's so much history between her and Mel, why would you invite somebody who she got history? Mel told me I can bring a plus one. So listen, Tisha is talking about bringing Destiny on as, as a plus one, and that's what I want to really get to, because Tisha's saying, oh, don't do that, Mel, as she's laughing and smiling about it, and then she says, well, I told Melody that I was bringing her because I sent her a text message. For me, uh-huh. I would still just be cautionary of a person that's like she's that, a part of this that circle. Is her friend. And she is my friend, friend, and she's a part of this circle with all of us. I'm not playing into this game. Mel saw the text message. She saw it. Destiny is coming. You saw it. I told you. The reason I got the room I got is because you saw the text message. Is your goal? Well, listen. <laughs> Melody might have decided to give her a certain type of room after she saw that Destiny was coming. But the fact of the matter is when Tisha asked Melody if she could bring a plus one and Melody said yes, she did not immediately say that she was bringing Destiny. Because at that moment, she could have said, if she said it to her right then, well, you know what? I I really ain't feeling her. I, I really am not you know, desiring to spend time around her. I don't care if you want to be friends with her, but this is my girl's trip and I don't really want her coming along. So I do feel that Tisha asking Destiny after the fact, which some may say, well, she had to ask her first. She asked first if she could bring a plus one and she didn't know if Destiny would be available immediately. So once she found out that Destiny was able to come, then she let her know I personally feel, one, Melody was in her executive producer role by saying, okay, I got to go along to get along. This is par for the course when it comes to the show stuff. But two, also Melody, I feel, was want, not wanting to look like the the bee that a lot of people try to put her in the role of being to say, well, she already invited her. She already knows. She already said, yes, she's coming. So I don't want to look even messier by saying no you can't bring her you got to bring somebody else you can bring a plus one but it just can't be destiny so for Tisha to say well she knew she was coming because I sent her the text message yeah after the fact so I don't think Melody was lying when she said 
I didn't knew I didn't know that she was going to be the plus one because I feel like what she was saying at that moment was I don't I didn't know at that time when you asked me if you could bring a plus one that it was going to be destiny. I didn't know until after you already extended the invitation to her and she said yes she would like to come and will be coming and then you sent me the text message after the fact and I didn't want to be the one to go back on that and say well yeah I did say you could bring a plus one but I didn't immediately think that it was going to be her because let's remember uh what was it last season however these seasons roll because I can't even keep up with it at this point when Melody had the tea party the tea party etiquette, whatever, you know, it was called. And Tisha brought the chick that ultimately outed Arion and Hotel's plot to try to put Melody out there with this revenge P plot. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Tisha brought that chick. So how was Melody to assume at that moment that that's who Tisha was going to be bringing? Because she didn't bring her to the tea party. I'm just saying. So with all of that being said, some people could say, well, she should have assumed that because she knows that Tisha, um, not Tisha, that Destiny is a friend of on the show this season. Is she in the opening credits? I couldn't even tell you because I'm not watching the show. So I don't even really know. You let me know in the comments if she is. I don't know if she's in the opening credits again or if she is just a friend of the season, I'm I'm not sure. But at either rate, I I still believe that Melody didn't know that Destiny was going to be the plus one until after she told her. And she didn't want to rescind the offer after she had already said, yeah, she could bring a plus one to not look like a hypocrite. But this is what I want to get into because the scene for the upcoming episode Destiny says something that really just rubbed me the wrong way. I need to warn you, there's a person here that I didn't know was going to be here. Sunny. Like, for I real. I don't want to be conversing with nobody. I don't need to be conversing with. Okay. Well, I love you, too. What they got to do with September. September. I'm not moving. September 9th is when y'all started dating. Mm-hmm. When was your last text about the Hey Baby? All the way up until October was the last time we communicated. October. Yes. Destiny and me. Is there anything y'all feel like y'all need to have a conversation about? We have her talking and hanging out with Martel and his mistress. You and her were talking on the phone all the time like y'all were friends. Never. Yes, you no, were. Never. You were trying to teach her how to respectfully cheat. I call Bo. First of all, the the fact that this woman claims that she was Melody's friend. And if you all recall that scene when Melody had a little sit down with her. Destiny was having a photo shoot and Melody came to try to be like supportive. Destiny invited her there and Melody just pretty much laid it out on the line to just let her know like, look, we can't be friends. (laughs) However people want to see that, that's on them. But Destiny, she looked like it like broke her and she was like, you and me, we, we rock hard. Like that, that's what Destiny said. So if this woman was ever really your friend and then she would sit there to insinuate that Melody was having conversations with this chick on the phone, trying to teach her how to be respectful about cheating with her husband, is she knows is an outright lie and you are playing, or she, not you, Destiny, she is playing her so-called friend hotels game of trying to make Melody look bad. I haven't been watching this show this season, so I don't know how many times Hotel has showed up in the scenes, but this is his way of showing up in the scenes by using his so-called friend Destiny to do some dirty work like that, as well as to give Arion a giggle because Arion is the one that was saying type all that type of stuff about she was talking on the phone with her and and she was telling her about how her husband was eating her (laughs) disgusting box like a champ and all kind of crazy stuff she was, you know, saying. And uh, it's just, it's just disgusting. 
So the fact that Destiny, who claimed that she was ever really Melody's friend and she would actually run with that lie of what Arion said about Melody, saying that she was having conversations with her on the phone and they met up and they talked and whatever. I do believe that, yeah, Melody did have a conversation with her on the phone, but I don't believe it had anything to do with her trying to come with some understanding and give her some guidance on how to help her husband be unfaithful to her. It's just absolute bullcrap. I do believe Melody was, yeah, trying to confront the matter head on, trying to find out what her husband was saying to her about her and and the relationship. Yeah, I do believe that, but that's nothing new. There are a lot of females that have been in that same position where they wanted to have a conversation with the other person. You know, it's... <laughs> is ridiculous, um, you know, for the most part, but it, it, it happens. I mean, it goes back to many, many, many years ago. We, rem- we remember the song, Barbara, this is Shirley. You know, like it, it's woman to woman. It, it's just, no, it happens. But don't try to sit here and say that Melody was trying to talk to this girl about how to do it right when it comes to being with her husband so that he could continue to be unfaithful to her and cheat respectfully. That's some bull crap. And we know that that did not happen. And so Destiny is doing Hotel's job by trying to make Melody look foolish. And honestly, it's a moot point. It's dead. It's over. It's done. Melody, she she bagged up the garbage, threw it out on the curb. And Arion, the, the, the trash collector, came and picked it up. And has been carrying it around ever since. So Melody really could care less about the the lies that they try to spin. But you, know, what she's like is, you're not going to bring that to my face. And I'm going to allow you to sit here and lie on me like that. And I don't blame her one bit. So the fact that Destiny, of all people, who claim that she used to be a friend to Melody, would show up on this trip, this girl's trip that Melody curated by way of the show because yeah it's you know she's an executive producer but it's 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 a show thing right for destiny to show up and to be so ungrateful i would have been like get your ass up on (laughs) the next ferry to get to the airport to get on a plane to carry your butt back to huntsville alabama because you're not staying up in here i don't care if you're bunking on the floor in the room of someone that I have invited to be on this trip. You're not going to stay here or you're going to go get a room on your own dime. And apparently she wasn't able to do that. So I digress. I just wanted to talk about that really quick because that really rubbed me the wrong way. But listen, I I, I just, I don't get it. This woman, like I said before, she does not need to be on reality TV. She really needs to be trying to get her life in order. She's got a lot of stuff going on. So to be on the show confronting her ex-boyfriend and his wife whether you like how the situation went down or not because I quite frankly don't I feel like it was messy but yet still no matter if the marriage only lasts another three months I don't know but I'm just saying at this point in time they're married they're married move on let it go when it comes to them but deal with it in therapy and not online, not live. I don't know what real therapist would be doing something like that with her on social media. I don't. I'm not here to speak to the credentials of this therapist or counselor or whatever that she's been speaking with. I haven't watched any of those videos, but I understand that she has something called Mental Mondays on her YouTube channel. I'm all for therapy. I believe in it when you get connected to the right person because you do have to have a connection with that person in order for there to be a breakthrough. And also you have to be able to do the work and the assignments that they give you to see true actual breakthroughs in your life. But I don't know how anyone could see that really working doing this on a live video or even pre-recorded on social media. I just don't. That's my personal opinion. But going on a girl's trip, trying to throw the woman who curated the girl's trip under the bus by saying that she was having conversations with the mistress, which Melody was being nice by giving her that phrase because 
if I were her, there would have been a lot of bleeps going on, <laughs> okay, that they would have been playing for me talking about that chick and even referencing her. But for Destiny to try to throw her under the bus with that, to show up, to be ungrateful, and Tisha to try to make it seem like, well, yeah, Melody, she's lying because she knew I was bringing Destiny on the trip. I don't think that she knew immediately, but once she found out, she wasn't really here for it, but yet and still, she didn't want to backtrack on her word when she had already told her she could bring a plus one. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on that, guys. You can let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for being here, liking, and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Bye. <laughs>